if you answer these uh, questions, uh, you can unmute and uh, tell me. Is any idea? The naked seeded plants are. This is the first question. So finally, I will uh, discuss. And what is the closed, uh, closed seeded plants are? So pteridosperms, gymnosperms, cryptogams, angiosperms. So this is quite opposite, naked seeded and closed seeded. And double fertilization, that is the characteristic of which plants? So Samara, that means uh, pteridospermalis plants are angiosperms or gymnosperms. And uh, the male gametes of the angiosperms. The male gametes of the angiosperms are, they are the non-motile uh, status, motile, flagellate, or none of the abo, or they are in the other way. So, this like questions. The ripened ovary is known as, it is a fruit, embryo, seed, or endosperm. So, just like uh, questions, these are all just to direct question, but in your entrance point of view, just applications also be there. So the naked seeded plants are the gymnosperms, Nana. Almost to the naked seeded plants are the gymnosperms. The closed seeded plants are the angiosperms. And the ripened ovary, that is known as fruit. So ripened ovary means either embryos, seed, endosperm, fruit, or anyone. So that is ripened ovary is known as the fruit. And the triploid endosperm that is found in which plants? So which type of the plants? That means bryophyte, pteridophyte, gymnosperms, angiosperms. Almost last class, the triple fusion or triple uh, triploid endosperm that is found in the angiospermic plants. And also double fertilization that is the characteristic of the angiosperms. So just to uh, some questions like this. And uh, what is the the stamens, stamens also, they known as, stamens are also known as, what is that? Pollen, anthus, sporophyll, microsporophyll. So just like, what is that? The stamens are also known as microsporophylls. So just to, you can uh, think that, that is, it is also known as anthus, but in the correct way, the stamens are also known as microsporophylls. And also the pollen grains are also known as, so in this spores, exogenous spores, microspores, or uh, gametes, so are anyone. The pollen grains are also known as, what is that? Microspores. Pollen is nothing but pollen grain. So it's a representation of the uh, male gametophyte. So that is the microspore. And also the tapetal layer. It's very important. The tapetal layer is what is the main function of the tapetal layer. So it is in the hygroscopic layer or it is in the dicing purpose or it is give the uh, mechanical strength or it is the nutritive in the function. So what is that? The tapetal layer is nutritive in function. Tapetal layer gives the just to nutritive purpose. That is the answer. And the pollen tube of angiosperms, they contain, what is that? Uh, that means our pollen tube means it is one male gamete, two male gametes, three male gametes, or none of the above. So the pollen tube of the angiosperm, it consists of, it contains two male gametes. So one will uh, fuse with the egg cell. So other one is fuse with the uh, polar nuclei. So that is the diploid nuclei that will occur in the double fertilization and do triple fusion purpose. In that way, the pollen tube of angiosperms, it consists of the two male gametes. And also the opening, opening through which the pollen grains are discharged from the pollen sac that is called, what is that? Either micropyle or it is connective purpose, or it is in the stomium or epical pore. So the question, once again, the opening through which the pollen grains are discharged from the pollen sac. So that is called stomium. 
almost you will discuss some uh, large size of these cells are presenting here and there. Mm, that is the stomium cells in the dacing purpose. So that is the uh, answer. And uh, other question, gynesium is also known as pistil, carpel, ovary, megasporophyll. What is that? Gynesium. So that is also called pistil. So in simple way, pistil. And carpel, carpel that is also known as uh, pistil, gynesium, ovary, or megasporophyll. So carpel, annam gavati, carpel is also known as, what is that? Megasporophyll. Micro is adi and do carpel annapudu megasporophyll. And uh, other question like just uh, the ovule is attached to the placenta by a small stalk called, what is that Nana? So that is uh, either Kalaja, Raphe, Funiculus or Hylum. So just to please keep, uh, keep observe here, the ovule that is attached to the placenta by a small stalk that is called Funiculus. So Funiculus is the answer. And in the types of uh, ovules, orthotrophous, anatrophous, so orthotrophous ovule is almost it is straight ovule. Orthotrophous ovule, always it is straight ovule and anatrophous ovule is the uh, inverted ovule and some the megaspore mother cell. So uh, that is uh, in single N, 2N or 3N or no one. So the megaspore mother cell. MMC, that is always in the 2N or 2X in state. So just two uh, questions. And some questions, the first division of the microspore. So it gives rise to a, what is that, Nana? It gives rise to a vegetative and generative cells or two secondary cells or two polar cells or two collagen cells. So please, the first division of the microspore, it gives rise to Vegetative and generative cell is the right answer. Okay. So, and the pollen tube, it contains some, uh, almost you'll discuss just now, that is in the two male nucleus. One or two or uh, other type. So, that is the questions. And uh, the transfer of microspores from microsporangium to the stigma, that is known as, what is that? Pollination. So, dissemination. Dispersal, pollination, fertilization. In all these three, all these four, so one answer that is pollination. The transfer of microspores from microsporangium to the stigma that is known as pollination. So just like the entrance of the pollen tube through the microbiome. So porogamy, kalajogamy, and mesogamy, we discussed last classes. The entrance of the pollen tube through micropyle is known as porogamy. Just to hold like osteol or pore like structure is presenting with the micropylar end. Through the micropyle, the pollen tube is entering. That is the porogamy. Okay. So the double fertilization, almost to, that is characteristics of the angiosperm. Triple fusion also found in which plants? So some, uh, just to not angiosperm, gymnosperm, some plants name also, they'll give an like pinus, natum, taxus, marsilia, polygonum, some in this. So the triple fusion is found in angiosperms. So in the angiosperms, almost to uh, polygonum is angiospermic plant. Pinus and natum, these both will belongs to the uh, gymnosperms and marsilia, it belongs to the pteridophyta. So that's uh, il, just elimination of the questions in that way. Triple fusion is found in the polygonum. So any other angiospermic plant, that is the uh, answer, just like that to questions. So this is some uh, questions regarding in the embryology and uh, some questions just like uh, the female gametophyte. We know that female gametophyte is uh, known as, what is that? Mega gametophyte or embryo sac. What is that? Female gametophyte is also known as mega gametophyte and embryo sac also. So that means in the both A and B answer. In that way, some question, the egg apparatus, it consists of 
uh, almost one cell, two cell, eight cell, three cells. So the egg apparatus, it consists of the three cells. In that two is the synergids, one is the egg cell. Totally these three cells, they are called as a egg apparatus. So just like the three nuclei found towards collagen end, so they will be, they make the, what is that? Collagen cells, synergids, polar nucleus, or antipodal cells. So just to, you can imagine the complete ovule structure. So three antipodal cells are at the collagen and at the micropylar, two synergids, one egg cell, and center part is the, that is the polar nuclei. So in that way, the three nuclei found towards collagen end, it will be make that antipodal cells. And as per same, the monosporic embryo sac is found in, so monosporic almost to polygonum enothera. These two are the examples for the monosporic and uh, bisporic ileum and uh, just like, uh, so that tetrasporic also there. So monosporic embryo sac is found in polygonum, endomia, drusa, ileum. So in these four, what is that answer? Polygonum is the right answer. So that is the monosporic. And uh, bisporic embryo sac, that is the ileum type. So just to, the egg apparatus, it uh, consists of an egg and two synergids, an egg and two antipodals, an egg and two polar nuclei are complete only polar nuclei. So in these four, what is the answer? The egg apparatus, it consists of the one egg cell and two synergids. So just to, this is the almost to, just like these questions are come from the embryology part almost double fertilization, who proposed that to double fertilization and triple fusion, Strasburger, that is the double fertilization, triple fusion is discovered by uh, Navashin. So these all are some questions uh, just to regarding of the embryology part. Okay, so any doubts regarding embryology, just to one topic is left over, that is the polyembryony. In this polyembryony, one question coming from that, uh, what is uh, polyembryony and uh, what is the types of true, true polyembryony and uh, false polyembryony. So in that cleavage polyembryony and uh, development of embryo from other cells of the embryo sac, they excluding the egg cell and adventitive polyembryony, false polyembryony. Just one class is uh, left from this embryology, I think. Any more doubts regarding the embryology, please unmute yourself and ask, ask me the questions. Hello, sir. Uh, madam, madam. Uh, sir. Uh, it's a uh, fine, excellent class, madam. This, uh, uh, the important questions, uh, most probably important questions are uh, covered in this class. Uh, in okay, our sir. class, our uh, uh, colleague, uh, our uh, Lab, uh, lab friend, senior lab mate, our uh, Kandagatla Rameshana is also present in our class. Anna, oh, thank Malati. you, sir. Nice. And Malati Madam is also here. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> both of you are, uh, listen our class, your class especially. So, we are very happy and welcome them. Uh, Anna, Rameshana. Thank you, sir. Rameshana, please yeah. up. unmute yourself. Hello, sir. Good evening. I love you, Malti, madam. Hi. <laughs> madam. Namaste, madam. <laughs> Namaste, sir. Uh, madam, how are you? Uh, fine, fine, sir. Thank you. <laughs> fine lecture, madam. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> just uh, only two or three members daily in class. Just to, as per that mode, I will tell the class. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, thank you, sir. Chala chala. Ah, yeah. Hindu. Ah, this. Okay. Ah, 
లాస్ట్ వరకు అయినా అన్న ఒక హాలిడే రోజు చూసి ఒక ఈవినింగ్ అన్న రమేష్ అన్న ప్లీజ్ ట్రై మేడం థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ